Hi guys and welcome Whoa. back to my channel. Today's Whoa. video I'm going to show you how to create this style of cover art. Before we get into the video, I have to appreciate every single one of you for your nice comments and your nice messages. It means the world to me. And if you like what you see, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's go into it. The uh, first thing I want to do is to open a new canvas. Click on new and make sure the width and height is 2000 by 2000. Press OK. And now go down to this icon down here in the bottom and click on gradient. Gradient you want to click on this uh, black and white one and change the colours to a light blue and a darker shade of blue. So first I'm going to go for the light blue. It doesn't have to be the exact colour that I'm using but make sure it's a light blue and then a darker blue on top. I think this looks about right and I'm going to press OK. Now you want to rasterize this layer. And I'm going to leave in the description some brushes that you can use to make the clouds. Click on here and it will open all the brushes. Once uh, you've opened it, just select the brush or the cloud shape that you like the most. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing, but just do something roughly like this. Make it seem natural, don't put too many clouds you want to find the right balance between how many clouds you want and how much of the sky is actually showing. And go up here and filter, press camera roll filter and what we're going to do now is make the clouds pop out a bit. You can do exactly what I'm doing here, just copy the same numbers and you get the same result. Can see that made it pop out a little bit more. Now the next thing you want to do is add the artist that you're going to make the cover art of. I went again for Travis Scott. The picture that I chose has a plain background so it's going to be fairly easy to crop out. Once you've cropped out your picture make it a little bit bigger and place it exactly where you want it. You want to make the face just above of the bottom of the canvas place it somewhat like this. Now the next thing you want to do is open camera roll filter again. This time we're not going to go for the same option as we did with the clouds. What we are aiming for is to make Travis Scott or your artist that you're choosing make it a bit yellow. And again you can follow the same options that I'm choosing here. Now once you've done that you're going to press Ctrl T on your keyboard and that's going to give you the option to play some text. The font that you want to choose is Peace Sans. Again, I'm going to leave everything in the description so you can just click. You can click the link down below and it's going to give you the option to download everything that I've used in this video. Now you want to place the word or the title of your album about on top of the artist that choosing. You want to choose a bright red colour so it can stand out quite a lot. Press right click on your mouse and click on rasterize layer. Now you're going to go to outer glow and add some outer glow. You can choose again the same options that I'm doing here. Once you've finished go on filter and add noise. Choose what you think looks best for your cover, I've gone for 7.5. And now I'll go again to filter and click on motion blur. Again, choose what you think looks best on your cover, I'm going to go for 15. Now center the text right on top of your artist. And now for the finishing touches, you want to add some stickers. These stickers are in the link down below, so don't worry about finding them on Google.
go on blending options, click on color overlay and go on the same color that you choose for your text. Now for the finishing touch, we're going to add a filter. Again, this is in the link down below. The option that you want to choose is soft light. Go turn down the opacity down to 89 or 90, just about that. And you'll see that you've finished the cover. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this was helpful in some way. And again, I want to thank every single one of you for your positive comments and for everything you've told me in my DMs and on my YouTube comments. You can follow me on Instagram, jdowlb. You can subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want. I hope your week goes well and take care.